Hey guys, movie goodies, what's up? Uh, some of you guys have been asking me to show you how to make your mod 1.7.10 and um, I didn't know how but now hopefully I know how to do it. Um, so first things first, uh, get the terminal open and make a new folder. We'll call it 1.7.10 dash mods. So we'll open that folder and if you didn't download 1.7.10 forge yet uh, it'll be in the description but um, we'll go ahead and put all that into uh, that folder and hello and there we go and it's uh, like the same CD space then drag that folder in there and hit return so now that we're in this folder we type dot slash grad lu space set up dev workspace and this is where it gets a little different you have to type dash dash refresh the uh, uh, refresh dash dependencies and then uh, it'll download some stuff and uh, hopefully it should work alright so uh, after a whole bunch of dot dot dots it'll say unzipping and uh, loading and it will go full screen configuring alright yeah before when I tried this I didn't have this part and I don't think any of this happened so hopefully this is a step in the right direction and a little while later we're done uh, the assist dir is deprecated use run dir instead uh, whatever that means uh, just we'll find out when this is done building Also, some of you guys have been asking about MCP, whether or not it's needed. Uh, don't worry about it. It's downloaded by uh, what we're doing right now. This is one thing I forgot to say earlier. Uh, make sure you're downloading the SRC file and not anything else. For those of you who haven't watched my videos before, just make sure that you're downloading the Forge SRC instead of the uh, other forge files that you can download um, once you get it downloaded search in your downloads area and uh, there should be a folder and all the stuff in that folder take it out and that's what we need so here we see build successful so uh, that should be done you go quit out of the terminal now if we go to Open Eclipse. Download will be in the description or link. We'll wait for you to load up because you take forever to load up. Eclipse is opened. Uh, this is just the mod from 1.7. Point whatever at the top. Uh, like if if you haven't opened Eclipse before, make sure you uh, select the workspace that you named that folder that we made. In my case, it's 1.7.10 dash mods. Um, if not, uh, just go at the top, file, switch workspace, other, then browse. And um, this is what you are going to want to find it. Um, you're going to want to search your desktop uh, for new people too. This, uh, this, this is important. Click on that folder make sure you go to eclipse and then open so that's that's it uh... we'll switch workspaces and um, we will be moving on uh, i'm not going to be teaching you guys anything today uh... besides how to set it up for 1.7.10 um, 
I'll just be pasting all of the past mod stuff into this and see if it runs. So in this folder we just have all of our stuff and uh, this is where our mod will be. So if you guys did it correctly you will have this folder called Minecraft. If you open it and open that uh, you will get this thing right here and with this example mod um, it doesn't do anything so it's kind of pointless to have but you know this is just uh, getting the unlocalized name of the dirt block so I'm just gonna go ahead and rename all this stuff and uh, I'll have it ready to go for the next episode if I figure anything out um, so yeah just like in the other one we're gonna have it be called YouTube mod and um what the I just renamed you oh huh. way to go that's what happens when you're tired <laughs> refactor rename if you rename stuff make sure you refactor it and um so just make sure that this works um, right at the top you'll see this play button just click it and uh, if it works all correctly um, uh, Minecraft will be launched alright so it's opening up you see Minecraft 1.7.10 that's a good sign um, so come on Whoa. Um, come on. All right, it's loading up. It hasn't crashed yet. Sound engine started. That's a good sign. And um, come on. What is that? Ah, uh, whatever. It works. So if we go to single player or mods. We have our mods, example mod, disable, I don't think that works, but um, whoa. So uh, yeah, there's the Minecraft coder pack, um, it's downloaded all by itself, don't worry about it, and um, if we create a new world, uh, go creative and off, uh, super flat, um, new world and um, don't worry all of your world stuff is saved um, and uh, you get a random name too so my, my name is forge dev name which is pretty cool and um, so yeah the um, the mod works and now we just have to make it awesome and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped and answered you guys' questions. And I'll see you next time.